boys, today we have been farming content lately and one thing in particular has struck a chord with not only people of Twitch, but the people of YouTube alike. And it's when I made a simple tier list on YouTubers I thought I could beat in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I thought, let's run that back, but instead of YouTubers, their close relatives, animals. This is a tier list of animals I think I could beat in a fight. If it was a fight to the death, all right? Let's just assume that these animals have roid rage or whatever the equivalent is for these animals and they're coming at me. And behind me, imagine is like, you know, slime cutie and, 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 and something else I love dearly. Uh, uh, all of my Twitch primers are behind me. In fact, cut out cutie and slime. It's just my subs on YouTube and Twitch behind me. And if they go through me, they'll kill all of them. So I have, I have to do this fight. My mom? Oh yeah, uh, for, she's for sure back. She's like further back though, because we wanted to, she's still for sure back. I love my mom. I mean, come on. Anyway, this will be an entourage of animals. It'll always be one versus one. No animal will interrupt. And the line is going to be whether I can literally beat them so bad it ends their species, perhaps from sheer embarrassment, or whether they will end my lineage. I will be the last Ludwig in my family. No more, because they beat me so bad my family doesn't want to reproduce because we'll be known as the family that is lost to the fucking, you know, whatever, porcupine so badly that we can't be seen in public. We have about 23 animals. You might add some more at the end. But let's get started. Let's get started. Here's the thing about the rabbit. All right? It has a spell over me. It is one of the more attractive species. I don't believe in interspecies breeding. I'm against it. I think it's unethical. Okay? Talking to you, donkeys. Whoever's interspecies breeding, I'm not a fan of it. But I think... Rabbits are so cute, not in a sexual way, but in a just a very platonic, what a cute animal. I think I'd have a hard time doing it, but I think if it really comes down to it, and it was life or death, I could just fucking punt rabbits. I, I, I think this is a freebie. I think the average man could beat a rabbit. Like, I think a rabbit at the end of the day, they, 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 they do come in numbers. So I, I definitely destroy them, but I don't know if it's complete eradication. You know what I mean? The shark. Okay, this one, this one's tough. I'm a bad swimmer. I grew up, and this is not me flexing, but with a pool at my home. I grew up with a pool in my home. And even that did not give me enough of a buff to be good in the water. I don't understand the sport of water polo. I get tired very quickly. Okay, very quickly. I like the shallow end. I like standing on my two feet. I have no shot. I have no shot. I think if a rabbit had an apparatus to breathe underwater, it'd be a close fight. I think it'd be a close fight there. The shark native to water, it, it would be tough. Even on land, it would be tough. The only thing I know, ghost, not Ghostbusters, Mythbusters. And they say if you punch a shark in the nose, they, they go away or something. They get scared. So maybe, maybe, but no shot. I, I think a shark just straight up, they fuck me up. The squirrel. This one, similar to rabbit, similar to rabbit, but they do have something that I feel like rabbits don't, and it's, it's one, they are, I think, I think they're much slippery, they're much more slippery because they're smaller, they'd be harder to get a hold of, but two, I feel like, I feel like they just have rabies. I don't know, do rabbits also have rabies? I feel like I get bit by a squirrel and I'm poisoned, and even though I beat them in battle, long term, they've taken, they've taken me, they've taken a chunk out of me. So I, I think I'm still beating them, but I think I do a little worse than the rabbits. Just a baby bit worse than the rabbit. I'd throw them right here. Like, just a little bit worse than the rabbits. Uh, but, but still, I think I beat them. Alright, I'll keep it a buck. Hey, how do you even hurt a whale? My only thought process is maybe if I, like, does their blowhole affect their breathing? Like, if you clog it. Do they die? Because I could, you know, what if I just nuzzled myself in there? Or, or you know what? Uh-oh, uh-oh! And then they'd be like, no, no, and I'd be like, oh! 
I don't know if even if they were like motionless, if I could do it, it'd be like kind of like those karate scenes where it's like this big giant guy and then the karate master punches the big guy like a thousand times in the stomach and then the other guy makes the my turn face. I feel like that's how it would go with whales. So I I'm still losing here. I don't feel as lost as the shark. I'm actually, we're following the same pattern here. I just really think there's no shot that I ever kill one, but I don't know what they have to kill me. I guess they just swallow me. Maybe I hide in the blowhole. I don't actually, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm smoking penis right now. I'll throw it there for now. I'll throw it there for now. Next we have, uh, <laughs> we have the hippo. Dude, I just looked up hippo and the first picture was a hippo running Mach 5. Dude, those aren't teeth, they're horns in his mouth. How do you open that big? There's no shot that if a hippo comes out of me with its mouth open, I can one, avoid it, and two, tank it. And if I happened to sneak up on it with all of its blubber, what am I doing here? How do I get through? I don't know the answer, but I do know that they would end my lineage. I would be the last Augren. I'd be the last Ludwig ever on this earth ever. The hippo would end me. It would be a closed casket, 100%. I don't think they'd recover my body. Just use a gun. All right, hold up. I should have gone over some of the ground rules. This is a one versus one fight. All right, that's 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 the facts. One versus one. I don't get backup. I also don't get any weapons that I cannot fashion myself. All right, or find in nature. Okay, that's that's it. So it's like if I'm fighting and we're fighting in 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 in, in a forest, I can I can pick up a, a a stick and I could use it. But it's all my ability. I cannot fashion a spear. I do not know how to do this. I also don't have the prep time. I I find a rock. I can chuck it. I think I can throw something at a good 30, maybe 40 miles per hour, you know? But that's it. That's it. Then my arm caps out. I got Tommy John from playing dodgeball in high school. I threw a vicious sidearm. Vicious. All right, got a lot of girls out. Not a lot of the guys. Not a lot of the guys. Mostly the girls who didn't even change into their gym clothes and got in trouble for that. So I think I just, I think I just lose unequipped easy to a hippo. I, I, it's probably... The number one, like if I had to choose one animal I would never want to fight, I would probably choose the hippo to not fight. Could you end my lineage, Travis? Travis, no way you could end my lineage. No. But you might be able to beat me. End my lineage, that means you're really killing me here. All right, next up we have the spider. Now, the spider, if I'm just talking pure human versus spider, it's like every day of the week. All right, you know, like I'm, I'm allowed to wear shoes. Step on it. GG. However, I'm built different. AKA, I'm a bit of a pussy. <laughs> I still have the big power of stepping. So I still think I win that one. But I'm, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it just above the squirrel. Pussy. Well, hey, what do you want from me, man? They're scary. They, they, they're creepy looking. All right. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with them. I don't think they fuck with me. We're not really tight. So I still beat them. It's just not, I'm not doing it in handsome fashion. Having said that, I don't have that same thing with snakes. Snakes, I'm not scared of snakes. I think I am scared of things that could sneak attack me. Like that are so small that if I closed my eyes and lied down, I, they could come up on me without me knowing. But the snake is, is pretty large. They're pretty large, all right? And the ones that are really scary, they fucking rattle, okay? So, so yeah, good job sneak attacking with your fucking big ass that you're shaking around. I think I could do pretty well. Having said that, they are, you know, they like, they do this. Look up a video of a cobra. Cobra snake. This mongoose is insane. The footsies, the neutral game is insane. The amount of stage control the mongoose is getting right now is absurd. The snake with that reach should not be getting outplayed this hard. I have walked away from this feeling much more confident in my ability to take down a cobra. Because I think I could fuck up that mongoose. All right, so I'm, I'm throwing snakes up here. I'll throw it just next to the rabbits. I, I think that's fair. Uh, next up, we have a seagull. I've tried catching seagulls before. They're elusive. You guys are still, are you guys still mad about the snake? Look up anaconda. In my purse, bitch, I can't. 
kid. No, I'm gonna get banned. Why would I look this up? Underwater, it can stalk without being seen. I I don't think I'm I'm beating this anaconda. Okay, you know what? You know what? I would like to reevaluate my position on snakes. I'm gonna throw snakes down here. You know, I was just a little bit confused at first. I thought we were talking about the Nicki Minaj song, and I, I, I don't beat it to that. Anyway, let's put snakes back down there. Let's talk about seagulls. Let's talk about see. Let's talk about a dub for Team Ludwig. Okay, a dub for Team Ludwig. That's what we're looking for. What's up, seagulls? They are a bit dumb, and I think, I think. Like, imagine I'm fighting this in their home turf at the beach, and I have seashells, and I got range attack. I think I just, I beat a seagull. It would just take a while. It'd be kind of a hard fight. I think they could get a few <laughs> in before I really get the job done. So I I, I don't think I'm crushing, but I, I definitely beat a seagull. I, I just don't imagine a world where a seagull could beat me. This is a rhino. I have never seen a rhino fight, but to me, it is the most Pokemon-like creature in our world. But I guess they just copy- it's reverse. But this shit basically is a Pokemon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa! Big hit! <laughs> this is like a trailer for- for a uh, rhino simulator. How indestructible is that horn? If they run into a car that's made of metal, does their horn take damage? <laughs> Dude, the cheetahs and the lions don't fuck with them. All right, I looked it up. I looked it up. Get this. A rhino can be up to 5,000 pounds. I'm a buck 95 at absolute peak. I've hit maybe 16, 17 miles per hour, maybe, on a good day. The Rhino is 5,000 pounds and can run up to speeds of 30, 35 miles per hour. I don't think there is much I could do against a Rhino. I think, I, I, I think it's just no shot. I don't know what's worse. A hippo or a rhino? Which one would take longer to destroy me? And I think that's the rhino. I think the hippo... Oh, GG. I think the rhino... You know? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, shit. Kudu's got to move. Knife out. Be hopping. I'm be hopping. I'm be hopping. You know? I think I can sidestep him, maybe. Because, like, he's very... He's, he's nose. He's nose. You know? Now, I actually know nothing about polar bears. I really don't. I only know of them as, like, kind of cute creatures. Uh, so let's just see, like, a polar bear in action. See if she can crawl through. She's trying to see if she can oh my bite God. through. It's getting a little bit here and here. I can feel that he's just pushing all his weight. Just like the the cube. So, okay, there's a couple factors here. Now, uh, in comparison to the Rhino 5K pounds, this comes in uh, under a K, sub-1,000 pounds, all right? So three digits. I'm three digits, too. They're like 800 to 1,000, but still three-digit pounds. Also, speed-wise, polar bears, 25 miles per hour, as opposed to the Rhino, which was 35. So slower and lighter than a Rhino. Now, having said that, they have one evolutionary advantage, uh, the claw. Now, these, these fuckers, they, they, they don't fuck around. The question, it's not whether I would beat a, a polar bear or not. It's whether I would survive a polar bear fight for longer than I would a fight versus a rhino. That's the question. Rhino horn can't do shit. Oh, it can't do shit at all? All right, good. Good to know. I was worried about that. Okay, so we'll just throw the rhino. I, no, guys, the rhino horn can't do shit. Thank you. Thank you, Chatter, for letting me. The rhino horn can't do shit. So what's he, what's he going to do? Will you step on me? No, I'm too tall. I'm too tall. All right, easy. GG. Peace, rhino. Nice, nice, nice knowing you, buddy. I do feel like I could sidestep the rhino. I just, it's hard to sidestep a claw from a creature that's fucking faster and taller. He has combo potential. Whereas the Rhino is sheer, like, power. It's kind of like, this is the home run bat. And then this is, like, a, a clean zero to death Marvel versus Capcom 3 combo. That's kind of where my head's at right now. And I'm feeling 
I'm feeling like I'm actually gonna I'm gonna move the rhino up a bit and then I'm gonna move the whale not the whale the polar bear polar bear where uh, where he was it's my new adjustments so that's where we're at with that now we have pigeons now look I did say at the beginning that this would be a 1v1 but I do feel as though pigeons if I attack there are so many of them I feel like this would happen to me. I feel like I I kick one pigeon and all of a sudden I am Young Link in Kakiro Village, Kakariko Village, excuse me, and they're just raining down on me. You said 1v1? Yeah, that's true. But what have pigeons been known to fight fair? Is that what we know pigeons as? They're dirty fucking sky rats. I I I still don't lose. I still don't lose cuz at the end of the day, if even like even if they get one of my fingers off, the pigeons would turn on each other just to get that finger. So I, I think where I'm at with this is that I, I, I still beat it, but I'm not ending their species. Next, octopus. This is tough. Octopuses? I just don't know how to fight. I don't even know how to fight an octopus. Yeah, this is an octopus. I feel like they're so slippery and slimy and they have so many, so many suckers. But I really don't know how they attack. I don't know their offense. Okay. I'm not going to fuck with you guys. This looks pathetic. I think the problem with octopuses is that they have not figured out the matchup against clothes. Because their whole design is meant to suck to the body. But like clothing kind of just beats that. I think they'd be an annoying fight. But I'm going to throw them still at a dub. A low dub, but a dub nevertheless. The moose is next. Uh... Bro, I'm from New Hampshire, and I will tell you what, moose, meese, if you will, they win the fight against cars. They're just big, man. They're very big. They're kind of like the rhinos of 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 the Northeast of of, of Americas. Like their attacking power comes from from just ramming, hmm, speed. In weight advantage. And they do have all those things. But I don't think they do it as well as the Rhino. Alright? They're they're much lighter than a Rhino. And as far as speed. Alright? The Rhino 35 miles per hour. The Moose tied with it. But it, you're tied with it at 3,000 pounds less. I feel like I do a little bit better here. I do a little bit better against a, a, a Moose than a Rhino. The Monkey. I feel like. I, this is just, we're just, we're going with like, you know, again, there's a lot of species of monkeys. This is like, this is like your, your basic monkey. This is like your monkey that people have as a pet in, in TikToks. And you're like, how is that legal monkey? You know what I mean? Am I crazy? I feel like a man beats monkey straight up. I just think we outweigh them and we outclass them. They can do damage, but we beat them. It's an honest fight though. I think it's a more honest fight. It's a pretty fair fight because of our because of, of our skills. I think they line up pretty one to one. But I think man, just as a whole, monkeys, you know, we're just better monkeys. No, isn't that it? Evolution. Next, kangaroo. No shot. I actually feel like kangaroos are our real ancestors, and that science doesn't want us to know about this. I think kangaroos are the most human-looking creatures of all. This is not based on any facts or science. But this is based off of me looking at a kangaroo, posting up, and then looking at pictures of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Like this dude and The Rock. You tell me if this is not the same as this. I feel like we're looking at the same picture. Uh, a kangaroo would fuck me up. They would rock my world. I think it'd be here. I like to imagine... That a kangaroo would be harder to beat in a fight than a moose, but not as bad as a rhino. I feel like the horse is probably, of the animals on this list, responsible for the most human death. I pulled that number out of my ass, but I believe that. Size, I feel like maybe I'm overestimating it, but they're so big, dude. They got no business being that big. I'm going to throw a horse about 50-50. I think that's fair. Horses break their legs and they're out of commish. They put them down, guys. Do you know that? They just put them down. And they break their legs from running sometimes. Let me look up horse size. 
eight feet up to 2,000 pounds. Oh, I guess I'm not thinking of like Clydesdales. A Clydesdale would fuck me up. I'll throw it next to the moose. I guess they're kind of similar to mooses without the antlers. Goldfish. I threw this in here because I knew about this point I would have a, some self-confidence problems going on. So I thought I'd throw in the goldfish. Uh, my mother has beaten several goldfish in 1v1s. And I could definitely destroy my mother in a 1v1 if it came down to it. God bless her soul. Never would want to do that. So this is mostly a confidence boost at this point. Uh, no shot. GG. Easy clap. 100% win rate on goldfish. Generally, toilets. Um, picking up, putting down. The fact that they can't do anything to me at all. This is a big confidence booster. That leads us into giraffes. This is one of those ones that I feel like I need knowledge of giraffes that I don't have. But I don't know where I lie. Giraffes are just like sheer, sheer size. They're, they're a couple thousand pounds. Their head is 20 feet in the air. I, I don't know how I'm swinging on one. What? Ball and socket joints give their necks incredible flexibility. So they can fling their head like a slingshot. Hey, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not happening. I think I fare. I think I fare worse than a shark here, which leads us to our next creature. This is similar to the rhino. It's the elephant. I don't actually know. Elephant weight. How much does an elephant weigh? Ten thousand pounds. Thank God. Okay, I was nervous for a bit. I was nervous for a bit. Eleven point two miles per hour. I think humans. I think we're like peak in terms of stamina. Like, we last a long time in long distance running. I think that's, like, that's our biggest evolutionary advantage is how long we can run. Having said that, there is no damage I can do on this creature. There is no damage. But much like the goddamn hero himself, Juan de Biedma, I will time out this elephant. All right? I will last longer than the hippo. Longer than the whale. Longer than the polar bear. I will last a while. I will not win. No, I won't. I will die from percent. Time's up. I'm out. But I think I can outrun. This is the only creature left side of the bracket that I really feel like I can genuinely outrun. Just, I, it wouldn't destroy me so quickly. You know what I mean? Like, if they were like, oh, Ludwig, how'd he die? Oh, he, he lost a fight to an elephant. They would follow up and being like, oh my god, that's terrible. How long did the fight last? Well, a few hours, actually. A lot of it lasted a long time. It was impressive. Like, that's how the conversation would go. As opposed to the hippo, it'd be like, oh my god, Ludwig died? How? To a hippo. Oh my god, how did the fight go? Pfft, 30 seconds. <laughs> Dude got fucking clocked. Actually embarrassing. That's why the elephant is above. All right, next we got the cow. Uh, is the is a cow a female bull? This seems like a dumb question on a stream about fighting animals. Like, I should probably know that one. Bulls are kind of fucking freaky. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how well I'm faring against a bull. I think this is your classic 50-50. And this is, it's a big male-female mix up here. Because I feel like if it's a male, you know, I'm not doing as hot. But if it's female, I feel like I'm, like, what are they doing? Which leads us to the other animal that we eat a lot, the chicken. Now, fun fact, when I was looking up all these animals, I was going to Google search and I was looking them up. I looked up bull just now. But when you look up chicken, this is funny, it doesn't come up with any pictures of chickens. It's the only animal that when you look up its name, it's just the food we eat. That's how much we have destroyed them in the matchup. And for that reason alone, I have put it, I have put it, I'm putting it above rabbit. I mean, chickens got embarrassed. They're getting embarrassed here. Next, we have the bee. The bee is tricky because it's kind of hard to kill, right? And they can do a good amount of damage. I don't think I'm entering a bee fight unscathed like I would a fight with a goldfish or a fight with uh, any of these creatures here. I think a bee is about on par with a seagull. I'm winning, but they're gonna get a hidden. And depending on the bee, some bees, I mean, they pack a wallop, all right? We've seen big men literally fall on the ground and start crying and pounding it in pain from bees. Stay brave, stay wild, and we'll see you on the next one. Next, we have the grizzly bear. I don't know whether a grizzly bear is stronger or weaker than a polar bear. But I think polar bears are more aggressive, which means it's going to be a better fight against a grizzly bear. 
Uh, so I think I fare a little bit better. I think I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm gonna move the kangaroo over. I'm gonna put the bear between rhino moose. All right, harder than a moose, less hard than a rhino, but not as uh, in the kangaroo. Now I'm gonna, I'm, I think that's better. I think gorillas are just like me, but they're just like peak physique. They have traded in their brain for their brawn, and I respect that. All right, I respect that a lot. I think I throw gorilla. What's harder to beat, you think? A gorilla or a polar bear? Because that's the question. I think claws make me lean towards gorilla. I might do this. I'm going to shift down. And then I'm going to bring the gorilla in between shark and polar bear. On par with the whale. But for the exact opposite reasons. Whereas the whale, I feel like I could not damage. The gorilla, I feel as though it could damage me very hard. For its offensive reasons, it's equal to the defensive whale. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? It's going well. Hey, should I what should I call you Tier Zoo? Is that what you like to go by? Uh sure. Tier Zoo's fine. And you can also call me Patch. I go by Patch on Patch. As well. That's badass. I'll I'll do Patch. Sure. All right, Patch. My first question to you, as I guess the leading expert on animals' abilities. In, in 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 fights in matchup charts where do you <laughs> think this lies on my ability overall it's 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 very good you got so th there's only three animals that will actively hunt and kill humans like for the sake of food uh, and you've got two of them in your top tier which is polar bears and sharks wait polar uh, bears just crocodiles also in there but i think you you probably already knew you wouldn't mess with that yeah i don't mess yeah. with crocodiles for sure <laughs> and also hippos i major respect for putting that in the top because they will mess you up <laughs> you were saying that i was a bit over exaggerating the power of the rhino uh i think maybe of course if you ended up taking a hit from a rhino you would die if a, if a rhino gored you with its it, it, with its horn it, GG, right? Like, uh -huh. you have nothing to do against that. And also, you can't really fight it. Like, they have really, really thick skin. Yeah, I can't uh, do any like damage. And if I get hit by it, I die. Rhinos are kind of dumb. And they have really bad eyesight. You know, depending on what the battle arena is here. Uh, if there's anything you could, like, have between yourself and the rhino, you might be able to kind of goad it into accidentally attacking whatever it is that's between you. Uh, there's a lot of termite mounds everywhere in, in the Serengeti. And rhinos sometimes will accidentally just charge a termite mound just because they're real dumb and they're real aggressive for no reason. Uh, and they'll hurt themselves doing that. So I think you could, you might be able to do that if you were in a fight with a Patch, rhino. Patch, do you they're dream of sure, having but... to fight these animals sometimes? <laughs> Is this... Do I dream about it? Yeah. I don't think so. Are you like daydreaming <laughs> about like, fuck, if, okay, there's a rhino. All right, we're in the Serengeti. I dodge left, dip right, termite map. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can imagine, I do end up watching a lot of animal fight videos. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, okay, here's a question. Rhino or elephant, which one do I fare better against? Rhino, for sure. Elephant. Really? Uh, as, as people correctly pointed out, they are faster than 11 miles an hour. You have to be pretty much like an Olympic sprinter to be able to to escape a charging rhino. Like I've seen videos of them chasing down cars and they're they're bigger than rhinos. If yeah. you, see, you can look up a video of a rhino versus an elephant, <laughs> the, the elephant looks makes the rhino look like a pipsqueak. Let's switch to right side of the bracket real quick. Do you think sure. I'm fair that I could just, you know, mess up? Like I'm beating an octopus, is that crazy? The octopus is the only one I was gonna maybe- Oh really? Uh, have, some, have some stuff to say about. So one thing you might not know is most, I think, Either most or all octopus are venomous. What? Um, so, if it, so if it bites you, it depends. It depends on the octopus. Like some of them are more of like bee sting level venom, but some of them are very lethal. Yeah, I think I based it off of a diver that was getting uh, grabbed on, and then he just like pulled them off, and I was like, oh, that looks like a you know. Yeah, a, yeah, that's fair. An that's inanimate fair. object. All right. <laughs> so where do we stack up? What's our if if everything on the left is S tier? And everything on the right is F tier or like C tier hand combat? No, yeah, I think that's that's very reasonable. I'll take um, that. Like Samus yeah, well, in Melee. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, ancient humans managed to surmount all the odds and, and overcome all these creatures. Even even animals that were bigger than the elephant, they managed to kill. Yeah, that's We've crazy. Of, uh... That's crazy now that you're talking because they what's the what it's a mammoth, right? 
they were able to beat, beat all of them with not much more than stone tools and some teamwork. Dude, mammoths were oh, big. And fire. Oh, fire must be goaded. It boosts your intimidation stat to the max, right? Every animal is afraid of fire. Yeah. Even beyond that, control of fire is, is paramount. If I just learned how to make fire on the spot, I would become a top tier. I could maybe maybe beat a hippo. <laughs> I should do that. Uh, all right, brother. Well, I appreciate you uh, hopping on calls. Really nice. Yeah, anytime, man. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good rest of your night. All right, boys. That was Tearsy. What a nice guy. Uh, that was so sweet of him to hop on. He did not have to do that, but he is definitely the fucking expert. And so I'm glad that he proved me to be absolutely 100% correct in one of the best human fighters on this planet. You heard it here first from him and not from me.